Oh. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. Oh. Right. In amongst the big boulders. Oh. G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We are on a bass adventure today. Um, we're going to load the kayak up, we're going to go on a camping mission, so we'll work our way up the river. I've got a spot in mind, it's about 10 kilometres up the river, beautiful big pool, big sandbar, perfect spot to camp. So we'll make our way up there during the day, set up camp, be able to fish either side of the prime time, so we'll get this afternoon and tomorrow morning up around that amazing area, and then we'll work our way back down the river, um, back to the car tomorrow. So super exciting, love going on adventures like this, um, should be super cool. So we'll get a couple of things loaded up into the kayak and then we'll get paddling. Well, we made it up through the first couple of sets of rapids. We're just coming to the first big pool that I want to fish. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully the bass are hitting top water. All right, I'm going to start with the uh, Billy Gate in Pearl. I'm going to rig it on a 2 snake locks head without the weight. Just like that. Beautiful topwater bait. Fishing on a 4 to 8 kilo. This is a TT Black Mamba 7 footer. It's a perfect rod for this style of fishing. I just matched it to a Hakai. Uh, which has got th uh, 20 pound, 20 pound platypus pulse X4 braid and also a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Some of these bass are big and I don't want to get dusted up. The big ones on top water are usually on it pretty quick, so it's moving through the water fairly quickly. If it doesn't happen within the second cast, you might as well keep going. Not only fishing a goat like this is very effective, it is super fun. It's just such a fun way to fish, pitching casts into the 
edge like that. And then it just gets nailed. Well, hopefully. I'm sure at some stage you'll get one. Oh, like that. <laughs> oh, that was sick. We got our first bass. Oh, beautiful. It's a nice one to start with. Yeah, yeah. Come in here, dude. Oh, sensational. Sensational. Cracking fish. They were so grumpy. It'll be a little bit calm for me, dude. Check that out. And the beautiful morning sun just doofed that gates off the top. Thank you. He's away. Very, very nice. Oh, that was a big one. Damn. Just didn't get it properly. Oh, I got it that time though. <laughs> On the paws. <laughs> the paws was your undoing, fish. Oh, it's not quite as big as what I thought, but still, it's a very nice one. Very nice. We're off to a pretty good start, really. Yeah, okay, okay. They're such chunky fish. Absolutely beautiful. Hook just came out of him. He gone. Oh, yeah, oh, that's a really good one. That's a really good one. Oh, oh. oh he is going, he is going. Oh, he came up to this, there's these couple of shoots and there's this one little pocket out of the sun. Oh, that's a really nice one. He's going hard. Now, don't you dare take me. Wow, he's fighting good. I was say, don't you dare take me back into that current. Oh, oh yeah, that's a stunner. That's an absolute stunner. Yeah. Come here. Come here. That's the one we wanted. That's the one we wanted. Oh, what a whopper on the top. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. I'm just going to pop against the bank here, dude. You're right. 
Thank you. Well, the last shady pocket produced the goods. Absolute belter. It is amazing how hard these fish fight. They're so cool. Such a nice fish. All right, let's get him back. They get pinned so well by those weedless hooks. All right, dude. What a chunk. That was sick. So cool. Last shady pocket. All right. Well, the sun is fully out now. So I've rigged up a five inch streaks on a one eighth ounce jig head on the two to four kilo spin stick. Just running six pound braid and a 15 pound leader. Looks really good. Jerk baits got so much cool movement, so erratic. Got him, got him. Oh, it's a big one too, I reckon. I was thinking to myself, I had to get a bite eventually. This jerk shed looks too good. What's he doing? That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Hey. <laughs> He's hooked in the chin, which is probably why it seemed like a big one. But he's just a little scrapper. But typical bass fashion, fight so well. Gone. Let's see if we can pull another one out of this back eddy here. Picture perfect day. Picture perfect. Oh, straight on again. Oh, that's where they're sitting. That was sick. Very next cast. Don't you drag me in there. I don't think that's exactly what he's going to do. Whoa. They fight so well for their size. Pigeon pair. Pigeon pair in consecutive casts. Oh, he's maybe he's slightly bigger. Lures out of him and he's away. Just no holding water. Oh, or is there? 
Oh, sick. That's a, that's a nice one. Not a bad one. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I could net you. Just give me a grab. Got him. Chunk. Just smoked. A jerk shed. Gold. It's interesting, some of these pools, like, I can't obviously see what's down deep, but some just look a bit barren, but I reckon there's bits and pieces that hold fish for sure. One thing is for sure, you do find out pretty quick. All right, well, we've made it to the epic sandbar. So this is where I'm gonna set up camp for tonight. Um, I'm gonna get everything organized now um, and that way I can fish right into prime time. Um, yeah, work up from here, come back on um, dusk and fish this pool. It's such an epic spot. So looking forward to this. Let's get a couple of things organized. Super handy with this container in the front of the kayak so I've got a food bag I've got a tent um, a dry bag which has got my air mattress and then also um, my sleeping bag and a pillow and then I've got a bag which has got the transier for cooking stuff <clears throat> and then I've got a um, uh, dry bag on the back here which has got a spare change of clothes which is very important because it probably will get a bit cold tonight So, plan is now that we're all set up, we're gonna sit and have some lunch um, and probably just chill out in the shade uh, for a little bit while the sun's really high. And as the sun starts to fade a bit, we'll head back out again um, as soon as those shadows start appearing on the water. Um, yeah, super stoked, such a fun thing to do. Alright, we're going to start the Arvo session. I'm going to roll around one of the quake vibes um, around this hole in here just to start with, and then we're going to have a look upstream. And although there's a little bit of breeze blowing here now, I hope that it does die off and can come back and surface lure this pool. It would be awesome. fish oh. whoa it's telling me just absolutely blitzed the quake it was like a really nice one hooked up just across from camp so cool it was like a really nice fish Jeebus. Come on up, buddy. Well, it's nice to know I've camped in a good hole. Oh, wow, that's a cracker. <laughs> that is an absolute belter. 
Oh, so cool. On the quake, check that out. Holy dooly, that's a whopper. That's a whopper. Oh, wow, what a chunk. I just smashed that quake soft vibe. Just across from camp. So good. What a way to start the Arvo session. Let's get him back. Oh, you ready? He's ready. Wow, that was cool. So good. Right across from camp. Such a good start to the Arvo. It's good actually getting a good um, gauge on the depth for all of this in the morning because that's the shallow side so I'll be able to uh, maximize the top water time for sure this has got a nice weed edge along here too There is way too much water to cover, effectively. I'm doing my best. Just have to come across a school cruising through. It is a giant pool, this one. It's interesting how most pools at the tail end have got those. Oh, that was a hit. I was going to say epic weed bed edges, but that's probably because that's where all the sediment ends up. Oh, he's hitting it. Little ones, maybe. Oh. <laughs> it's just saying it was hard to cover the water and then it got dunked. Yes, yes. <laughs> Been ticking along this bank in the shadows. Oh, and a big one's just nailed that frog or the goat. Oh, that was so awesome, so awesome. Kept telling myself that even though it's such big water that Far out, he's going hard. Yeah, even though it's such big water, fishing the edges with the top water is an actual, actually a really efficient way to um, get a big one because you're covering the water really quickly and all you need is one like this just to be sitting up on the edge. Oh, don't you go in there. Wow, what a good fish. What a good fish. Oh, yeah. That is amazing. Amazing fish, amazing scenery. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm just gonna pull in here. water bass amazing country and such cool fishing so state wow that was not coming off ever 
He is a great fish. We'll just put you out through this little crack here, dude. Away he goes. Awesome. Smash the goats. So sick. It's such a cool bite. And what a place to get it in. It's just about covering those edges. And the ones that want to eat it, it will just smash it first cast up in there. Sweet. I wonder how far a fish like that moves. Like they seem pretty angry, the old bass. Like they probably move a few meters for it interesting to know exactly how much water you are covering it's probably a lot more than you think it's very clear and they got very big eyes and it's also quiet too so they'd hear the splash from a long way Carrot starting to switch on to top water now. It's funny, as soon as that light just changes a bit, they're willing to come up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Just a chunky little guy. But if they're eating top water, I'm happy. Oh, 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 what a bite that was. Let me come back. Oh, that was like a cod bite. <laughs> Just exploded on it. What? <laughs> Are we bass fishing or we cod fishing? What's going on? <laughs> oh, so cool. Goes kadoosh. They're so fast. Oh, 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 that just roasted that. Absolutely roasted it. Oh, oh it's going so hard, dude. Oh, absolutely roasted that. Wow. Oh, that was epic. Epic. He's only just hooked. And he just hooked. That is a beast, too. What a beast. Yeah. Oh, so sick. Oh, that absolutely smoked that plastic. Oh, what an absolute chunk. Absolute chunk. Did it just smash that goat off the top? So much fun. That is just. 
amazing and amazing scenery too incredible incredible place oh, that is a beast go wow that was so much fun so much fun They definitely hit to kill it. There's no doubt about that. It's full noise. Full noise destruction. And I would say in the morning, you could go up that side, which will be first in the sun, and then back down on this side, which will be last in the sun. Straight away he was under it. As soon as it landed. As soon as it landed. <laughs> hey. Not quite a belter like the last one, but he's alright. Chunky bass. Just heard it land and was onto it. Got that awesome weed bed coming up. I'm looking forward to that. Straight off that weed. Oh, nice. <laughs> a little bit smaller than I thought. Still a nice fish though. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Check him out. Chunk. Yeah. That was awesome. First, first cast into the weed bed. I knew it was going to be good. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Hit it and then came back for it. That's a nice one. Yeah. Got him. Ay, 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 that's enough of that. Right in the pocket at the tail out of the pool. Yo, oh, you're so spiky. Unbelievably spiky. Thank you. No way! 
Jeebus. <laughs> I've fished this snag a few times and I'm like, they've got to be on it. Holy cow! That's a big one. Wow, he just like full waked across the surface and smashed it. Oh, there's a whole school of them. Oh, no way. No way. That was the most aggressive bite. Oh, no way. Oh. Just absolutely greyhounded it. Damn it. That was a whopper, that one that full greyhounded it. Wow, move some water. Just stacked on there. It's funny when the sun's up, they just m m must mill around in there. Don't want to do anything. That was crazy. Where'd they go? They were everywhere, and now they're nowhere. Absolutely stunning time of the day, that's for sure. See what happens between here and the end of the pool. That's a good one. That's a good one. Get out of there. That's a good one. They just smash it. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's a really nice one. Oh, get in the net. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice one. Right across from camp. Right on sunset, so beautiful. Well, the evening bite has been just sensational. So cool. Let's get him back. Gone. Oh. Big one. Oh, come off. Oh, no. Oh, now I'm tip wrapped. Oh, I saw that wake after it. What? Oh, and then I tip wrapped. No way. The water just rose up behind it. That was nuts. Oh, got him. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> I came back. Oh no, that's not the same one, I don't think. It's not the same one. Damn. Still a nice one, but it's not the same one. Wow, the water just rose up. Yeah. Still a chunky fish, though. Well, I reckon that's about it. Well, what an awesome day that was. It's so cool adventuring up the river, chasing bass. Got quite the setup here. Got our tent all set up. Got a closed, makeshift clothesline to hang me clothes down. An amazing view. Um, we're just having a little comfort fire. And um, yeah, we'll cook some dinner. It's just uh, super cool to be out here in the wilderness.
Well, good morning. We're just making a coffee on the sandbar. Getting ready for a top water session on the bass. That's so much fun. Looking forward to it. Should have some really good uh, water to cover this morning because we've got that amazing pool. We've got this one and then that amazing pool around the corner too. So, see what happens. No wonder the water's steaming. So much warmer than the air temperature. All right. Well, I'm going to stick with the four-inch gates because it's been working so well. We're going to try the Houdini color this morning. The water's quite clear. Houdini's a darker color, so it should be a good silhouette. And. It's going to go down to the bottom of the pool and work up that other side all the way up into that amazing pool up in the gorge. Got him, got him. Oh. Sick. First bite for the morning. Right across from camp too. Oh. It's not the biggest fish, but man, is he strong. Oh. Nice. Oh, come off. Not so nice. Real subtle take, like it was just under the surface and just sort of boiled on it and had it. It's just a little angry school. Got him. <laughs> Still there. So aggressive. It's funny, I saw a boil on that snag. When I chucked in there, I knew something was going to happen. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I just got out the packet of finesse frogs <clears throat> because I thought, ah, oh, I'll see what they look like. And I literally chucked it out to see how it looks in the water, and this guy just smashed it. <laughs> Maybe there's something in that. That's a nice fish. Yeah, literally, first I'll just see what the finesse frogs do and cast. And it blitzed it. How have you even hooked in there, buddy? Yeah. It's like a crossy's man. If I can just have my hook back, it's gone through the top and through the bottom. How? Right. Give me that back, thank you, and you can be on your way. Nice fish. Well, 
better give the finesse frog a bit more of a crack, I think. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like straight onto it. It does really look like a frog, I must admit. Oh, yeah. Such a good eat off of that one. That's a nice fish. Ooh, thanks for the share. A few on the chew now. We went from the white finesse frog back to the old faithful white goat. I think there is something about white they do like. That's a chunky one. That's a nice fish. Beautiful. Definitely like white. So this is the last one of these that I've got and it is, it's had a time. I actually rigged it upside down because the chin was a little bit ripped. But still catches them. Always seems better when you have these banks that's like rocky banks, but it's got the um, the dirt and the grass because I reckon that promotes the weed growth and then also the lay downs. Oh, <laughs> they are active along this bank. Yeah. Oh, damn. It's so quick. All right. This is the spot. That's the cast. Yeah, got him. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> It was so cool. Oh, redemption fish off the big snag. And he just smoked it. Absolutely smoked it. That's a nice fish. It's oh, a really nice fish. That was so sick. They often, don't often come back the bass, and it's nice to be able to leave them sit overnight. He was straight onto it. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Woohoo! Awesome, check him out. Absolute magic. That was awesome. Oh, <laughs> lobbed it into that snag. And this guy just was straight onto it and blitzed it. Awesome. They're such a cool looking fish. All right, let's get him back. He's out of him. He's out of here. It's definitely one of the best laydowns on the river, that bit. Big log on the rock in deep water. Well, the pearl goat is an absolute winner, I reckon. It's my favorite.
There's always that thing with top water. I think that I'm going to get to be able to fish everything. But you really need to make a decision. And I know that that bank is going to be in the sun shortly. And probably by the time I move through all of that, I'm not going to have time to do this side. So I'm just going to stick with the shady side. And not rush it. Can someone tell me why some have red eyes and some have green eyes? Chunk. Right. Off you go. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, right in amongst the big boulders. Oh, that was awesome. What a place to catch a bass. Oh, he's going. He's going. Are you gonna go out this way, you dude? Oh. What a scrapper. Oh, don't you get in there. That's a really nice fish. It's the one we wanted. Smoked it. Smoked it. That's a horse. It's a horse. Oh. Oh. That's a horse. Whoa, right in amongst all the big rocks. Check him out. That's the one I wanted to catch. That is beautiful. That is a tank of a bass. Whew. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is the one that I wanted to catch. That is an absolute donkey of a topwater bass. So cool. Such epic scenery. Amazing fish. All right, let's get him back. That is a tank. It is so thick. Whew. Check it out. Like, come right in the rock gap. Wow. Amazing. What a, what a trip. What an absolute trip. <laughs> Just out in the middle of nowhere. Another one after it. You're kidding. The fishing has been so good.
What an amazing place. Very lucky to be able to explore places like this. It's so cool. All right, time to pack up camp and um, head back down the river. It's going to be another beautiful day, but I've got a lot of paddling ahead of me, so I'm going to start getting into it. There's one thing that I reckon is absolutely essential if you're going to do long range trips like this um, solo. If you get into trouble, at least I've got a um, handheld EPIRB and that's on my person the whole time because I've had it before where I've had a leg injury in the river and you simply, you just can't get yourself out. Um, so being able to call for help when you really, really need it is super important. Could be the difference between things going well and things going really, really bad. This is the only one that I have to get out for, I think. Temptation is just to send it, but I think that would go bad. Come on, turn around kayak. Down you go. Now we got that out of the way, we can do the fun bits. If I can get off this rock. Here we go. Got in. It's had to have a cast in the honey hole on the way past. It feels like a good one. Oh, absolutely smashed that quake vibe. Oh, it feels like a really nice one actually. Jeez, you rip and drag. Oh, don't you come off. You're pulling the kayak around. Oh. Don't go for the rocks. Don't go for the rocks. I can feel him on the rocks. Jeez. He's going to make it back in there. Out you come. That's not good. Out you come. Wow, he had me right around the rocks. Oh, this one is going hard. Oh. It's got to be a good fish, doesn't it? 
gonna be a really good fish. Oh yeah, that's an absolute beast. <laughs> oh, well that was worth the cast. Look at the size of that thing. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow, on the quake vibe. Yeah, that just smashed it. Check out that for an absolute beast on the quake. So cool. All right, we'll get him back. Get that lure out of you there. Oh, what an absolute chunk of a big bass. Woo, that was worth a cast in that spot. Oh dear. I don't like this one because of this rock. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That had me heart going a little bit, I must admit. Whew. That was a long paddle. And we are back to where we started. Whew. Well, we made it. Um, unbelievable mission. Such an epic place to be able to come and visit. And I just feel so lucky to be able to do things like this. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Makes all this stuff possible. Um, if you did like the video, make sure you give us a like, comment, and um, subscribe to the channel because it really helps the channel grow. And I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.